Hey guys, this is Mel, and I, if you haven't read the title of the video, then you know I am super pissed. So today is September 10th, 2020. It is uh, 1.30 p.m. Um, so we're shy under 18 hours since episode 713 of The 100 Air last night. And I have to say, I'm still very pissed off about what happened. And I'm lucky that my class got uh, postponed today, so I figured... I can't be creative with my homework and all my other projects because the 100 and the injustice behind it has me very pissed off. So I need to talk about this if I have any sense of getting my homework done today. So, spoiler alert, first off, if you haven't seen the episode play already, please go do first. so first, but please be warned. Your heart is about to get stomped on. Um... And then come back and see what they say about the episode. I also already posted, or as I'm recording this, the video is being uploaded to YouTube. My thoughts about the episode in its entirety. Um, so go check that out there. But this video is going to talk about the injustice of the fact that in the final scene of 713, we get Clark shooting Bellamy in the heart to prevent him from giving over Maddie's sketchbook to the disciple. And yet Clark does not leave sanctum with the sketchbook which okay that's like an issue in itself right there because that's logistically the only reason why clark shot bellamy was because he was going to give over this book that had maddie's drawings that exposed her connection to the flame and what the disciples were after so if you shot bellamy and you shot every other disciple and you grabbed the book okay then that justifies why you had to kill everyone who was loyal to the shepherd because she didn't want that information getting out. Okay, that would make sense. Ignoring the fact that she shot Bellamy. But she doesn't even leave Sanctum with the book. She leaves it behind with one disciple left to retrieve it. And Bellamy is dead on the floor. And she goes through the breach crying her eyes out. And I'm thinking, what the hell did you shoot Bellamy for if you didn't go to get the sketchbook? I'm thinking, okay, she shot Bellamy. She shoots another disciple. And then she tries to shoot the last one, but she runs out of bullets. So instead of, I don't know, rushing to attack him, maybe knock him out or maybe find another way to kill the disciple or... I don't know, maybe lunging for the sketchbook and getting in a fist fight with the dis last disciple that way. No, she doesn't do that. She just turns around and runs through the bridge before the portal shuts. And I'm thinking, what if you did not leave Sanctum with the sketchbook, why the hell did you shoot Bellamy to begin with? Like, that makes no sense. Like, really? I, I, that's what baffles me because then... I understand that you're trying to put up the notion that it's Bellamy or Clark versus Bellamy. Clark shoots Bellamy to protect Maddie, which we know Bellamy has betrayed Clark in regards to Maddie. He said he would protect her and yet it got Maddie to take the flame and it just put this huge divide between Clark and Bellamy. I understand that. We also understand that Clark is going to do anything and everything to protect Maddie. Understandably so. But to have Clark be the one to kill Bellamy and to not only and I mentioned in the my review video that why did it have to be a shot to the heart why can it be a shot to the leg why did it have to be a fatal shot why couldn't it just be a shot that incapacitated him for a moment in trying to get her why couldn't it be a flesh wound why did it have to be shot to the chest and then when I heard other people when I just finished watching Abnormally Adam's um reaction to the last scene and he said that Clark shot Bellamy in the heart it had me thinking the whole head and the heart thing that the two of them had going on between them she literally shot the heart to her head in that scenario and it's just I don't know also as we know or if you have it already in my videos it's pretty clear that I am a Bill Arc fan but I'm not just not outraged over the fact that I'm a Bullark fan and they just killed Bellamy and killed any chance of Bellamy and Clark being together. That's not the case here. That's not the only reason why I'm angry that Bellamy is killed off. It is really the fact that it is the final season. Bellamy is one of four characters that were seen in the pilot episode. So I'm expecting 
if any of those four are going to die, it's going to be in the series finale, in some epic showdown where they're going to sacrifice themselves or something and be the hero and go out as the hero. So I'm expecting that. I'm expecting that buildup. I'm waiting on the edge of my seat, wondering if the characters I've been following for the last seven years are going to make it. And yet you pull this crap. You kill Bellamy. And only what? In the third episode of his return? Because he was only in the first episode. And then he was only in episode five on Bardo before he got pushed through the wormhole portal. And then he was again seen in 7-Eleven in Etheria when we had a full episode on him. So that's three right now. And then you have him being called the stranger. So him actually returning and all the Mombardo. And then you have this episode, Blood Giant, where he dies. So in an episode of 13 so far, he is only present in three of them fully. And two of them, it was just one scene cameos of the episode. (laughs) <laughs> you, ju- I just got Bellamy back after an absence, and I get why he was gone at the request of Bob. But, like, you do not just kill Bellamy off after such a long absence to begin with. Plus, at first, when I first, if you hear me in the my review video for 713, I had the random question of, like, is Bellamy really dead? This is before I saw Jason Rothenberg's Instagram post, Twitter post, about him confirming that Bellamy was dead. This was before I saw Bob's Instagram post with the Funko Pops um, kind of iterating the same thing and all the other messages saying how great it was work with Bob, which I'm sure it is. But that all those posts just reaffirm the fact that he is actually, Bellamy is actually dead. So before I saw all this, I recorded my 713. So you didn't really get the full anger behind the question of is Bellamy truly dead? Because I asked that question because for me, it felt very cheated because I wanted to see Because in every other sense, or in my, if I remember correctly, I probably can't in my anger. But any other time a character got redeemed on the 100, they shortly died afterwards. So usually I'm waiting for any character to have a redemption arc when they need it before I have to worry about their demise. Bellamy did not get that chance. I was waiting for him to be snapped out of this disciple's brainwash in maybe episode 15 or maybe in the final moments of the series finale and he would switch sides and rejoin his family that he's come to be with for the last seven years of this show and truly show that redemption right there and be on the right side of emotions instead of being robotic humans of i know that's a that's kind of an oxymoron but you know what i mean so i was hoping for that when i posed that question of is bellamy truly dead find out that he's actually truly dead i'm not going to get that redemption so i am i feel cheated on just a bellamy standpoint because of all the progression of all that he's trying to work towards to get peace and to protect the ones he loves it's he doesn't get it also he was fighting to find octavia he doesn't even get a rightful reunion with her and now she's gonna have to find out when she reunites with clark again that clark was the one that killed him And again, Clark is going to have to be the one who killed another one that she cared for. Everyone Clark cares for, it just reaffirms the fact that anyone Clark ever cares for ends up dying in the end. We had it with Finn. We had it with Lexa. We had it with her mom. We had it with her dad. We had it with Wells. We had it now with Bellamy. And like this is, and I've also been seeing that I would like to believe that there isn't hate between fan ships within fandoms. I know that's not the case. I know there's uh, Bellark fans that hate really hard on Klexa fans and vice versa. I've been seeing comments about Klexa fans rejoicing over the fact that now Bellark fans are um, now feeling what they felt when Alexa died. And it's not that I actually did root for Alexa, Klexa, I should say, um, I didn't have an issue with it. The only issue I had, though, was the fact that Lexa at times did show that she would easily betray Clark at certain points. But I still did like the, the the progression of their relationship. How she died even was very wrongly done as well. She got shot accidentally as opposed to dying in a huge major battle that she was leading to a charge, which 
or dying to save someone in a moment instead of just standing in the wrong place at the wrong time. So it's like, I don't even know. Like, I already, f- <laughs> I don't know if anyone feels it though, or if anyone's just as angry as I am, but it's not even the fact that Bell Arc is no longer an issue. That's not, like, I honestly don't care. It would have been a godsend if both of them even survived the series finale. That's really what I was aiming for. And the fact that they would be on good terms with each other and actually have a moment of peace, which they've never really had in their friendship. So that was ultimately what I was going for. It didn't have to be romantic between Bellamy and Clark, even though there were signs that it could go that way. But they did reaffirm that they had a strong bond between each other. They even had notions that it was Lexa that's always been on Clark's mind, who's the one, uh, the love of her life, which I can support as well, too. Um, it's how they dealt with Bellamy. I don't know if you can tell it in my voice, but even as I'm pacing in my room recording this and trying to hold myself up and keep the anger from not imploding within me, I'm like, my body is shaking. My voice, I can feel, is kind of going to go out. Like, I'm going to cry or something, which is like, nope, this is anger and this is not, like, sadness. But it's also, it's not like, in final, lately anyways, in a lot of final seasons or series finales, in the finale, I always expect maybe the protagonist doesn't survive. That's usually why you would end the story. I've seen it in many scenarios with the CW over the last few years, and it's something I'm really hoping does not happen with Supernatural in its final uh episodes as they record the series finale at this moment (sighs) oh crap if they do i'm gonna be very devastated when it comes november but i don't know plus also here's the thing because again spoiler alert the offline planet has to meet earth we do not know how far in earth or maybe it was backwards who knows how the time dilation works for earth Or maybe they might do some time, other time jumping shit. I don't know. But if they somehow say that Bellamy is dead and then he somehow ends up being alive later on and not just as in flashback and and returning, but not just like in a flashback or like as like a, a hallucination of sorts or anything like that. And he actually is alive and well in some way, shape or form in the finale. I think I'll also be partly pissed Just from the fact that I was led to believe that he was dead permanently. I mean, why put me through this emotional stress? If you could just... Because then, if you had had not made any statements about how, like, that was it for Bellamy. And that, like, if I had not looked anywhere after the show or after I did my review. And I ended up with the episode feeling the way I did when I recorded my review video. I think I would have been better off. I think I would have been better wondering if, like, he can't be dead. He can't be dead. Like, I did when the first explosion happened with Bellamy in 705. I think I would have rather preferred that and then get my disappointments in the series finale than to have what I'm feeling right now and be told that he's actually dead and go through, like, the wrongful treatment of the character. Only then to be told in the finale or shown that, no, he's actually alive. And I feel like I, it's just a huge tug of war, which I also would not want, despite me then being overjoyed to the fact that he did survive, but then I feel like you just put me through the ringer. It's like, why the hell would you do that? To someone who spent countless, pretty much essentially spent 100 hours on this show watching, and then however plus hours making review videos and editing and reading fan fiction about it and, and all this commitment and investment in these characters, and then you do me wrong like this as a storyteller. It just like, because also I am a screenwriting student and there's ways to do things that just get to the point. And then there's ways to do it that just agonizes and make your audience just like feel like they're in a tug of war. And it's just like, (sighs) yeah, I don't know. I don't know which more I can say because like I'm at what right now? Let me check the timer. I'm at 14 minutes right now, so I'm probably going to stop. I still feel feel as angry as hell right now with like the what the fuck face right now so i don't even know if i'm able to do all my uh my screenwriting assignments that i have due in the next week because this anger is now still stopping me from being creative and productive in any way shape or form uh wish me luck about that but 
I don't know. If you guys end up hearing this, then I truly want to say thank you for just listening to me rant. would love to hear what you guys think about it. Um, if you happen to be either a Klexa fan or a Bellark fan, don't hate on each other about this. I, But I do want to know if I'm even in the right to feel. I know I'm not the only one who's upset by this death. I want to know if... I just wanted to put my two cents out there. Just because... It's, I'm not coming from a place where it's just like, I'm only here for Bellark. I mean, that was one of the huge major motivators that I always look forward to. But I'm not just angry about Bellamy's death because it's the end of Bell Arc. I truly am angry about Bellamy's death because it was it Bellamy died a villain. He didn't die a hero. And it was at the hands of Clark. And that is something of a friendship that I truly loved about the show. And they just did it dirty. So I'm actually okay with thinking the show ended with the season five finale. I'm actually okay with that. I mean, even though the season six storyline was pretty cool in the whole body swap idea and the, all the mind drive stuff. And then season seven was great with the time dilations and stuff, but the way that they've treated the character of Bellamy is just like, no, I think I'm good with just keeping him alive before they reach Sanctum. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there before I truly go on a tangent. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for hearing my rant. Even if there's no structure, I literally have nothing written down. And it's solely from the heart, all raw, uncut, and everything. But, yeah, if you actually do hear this, thank you for taking the time. <sighs> Leave me a comment down below to share your own thoughts to see if I'm overreacting or if I feel justified in my anger towards this episode. I mean, everybody did a phenomenal job performance wise i'm not knocking any of that it's it's the writing it comes down it starts with the writing and that's the issue right now so just please let me know what you guys think about it no matter where you stand in the whole ship range or if it's just being a bellamy stand or not just be kind in the comments if you leave it but i do want to hear what you guys said what you guys thought about that last scene and whether or not you agree in my anger or if you think it it fit or um anything maybe if i give it more time after my anger has dissipated maybe i'll see things differently i really don't at this point think it will um but yeah um again links in the description box for tumblr wordpress um more organized more detailed it needs to be updated i definitely have to do that in two weeks um but yeah, guys, um, so this is Mel. Wish you all a great day, great week, wherever you are. Hope you can find some way to not be swallowed up by this frustrating moment of events. I did, I mean, I did see the post about the author, Cass Morgan. She did say that if um, we do ever want to see Bullark and Love It and Together go to the books. I mean, I read the first book uh, when uh, just after season one had aired found that it was a huge deviation so maybe now that the show is actually ending maybe i'll go to the books to see how it differs because book one did cover and a lot of different aspects to it so maybe i'll do that maybe that's the next thing who knows but yeah guys just let me know in the comments love to hear about it otherwise check out my 713 review um should be posted by the time this one is ever posted but yeah so until next week when i talk about 714 let's see if i'm still angry by the time that episode airs. Um, so yeah, Mel, wish you a great day, great week. Bye guys.